jab it more, move my head more, more defense, you know, everything powerful. So I work on everything. So you never can get too big in it. You think you're better than what you are. You always can get better. And then, uh, so you play basketball too growing up. Right? Yeah. So like, obviously when you're playing basketball, you can get in the zone where like you can't, you can't, you can't miss to do a heat check. Do you ever feel like you're in the zone in the ring there, or are you always thinking that? Or, I'm always in the zone in the ring. Uh, okay. When I get in the ring, that's like, like a heavy place to me. You know, I just get my bag and, and have fun, you know, uh, and do me. And then what do we think of the main event for your fight with uh, Javante and Garcia? Uh, that's a great fight, you know, it's going to be fireworks. You know, uh, it's going to be a knockout. All right. Yeah, I think it's going to be a knockout. <laughs> Who's going to take care of business first, Tank or you? Me. <laughs> We're going to see who had the best knockout. <laughs> All right. Thanks, boss. Right, what, what was your reaction when you heard that your fight was going to be on the undercard of Tank? Uh, it, was a, uh, it was a great reaction, you know, because uh, if I know a big card like that, you know, a big review, a fresh review, you know, why not get some exposure? You know, uh, you know uh, take my career to the next level, my fan base to the next level, everything. You know, it's the like, super starter for me, you know. Uh, Go to the next level. Anything you want to say to your fans here in Philly to get ready for the fight? Uh, keep supporting. Make sure y'all come on now. If y'all can't come out, buy the pay You know, uh, a knockout, come on. Uh, I'll be at Venerable Belt, come on. Uh, stay tuned. I can't wait to shine. I'm going to have fun. Do you, do you feel like you're probably getting the respect that you're getting with getting these title shots? Uh, not yet. You know, uh, I, I feel like after I make this, this statement, I will. You know, and I feel like. It's only big names. No more, no more going backwards. You know, uh, we try and get these guys in the ring, but it, it ain't happening. So hopefully, you know, after this, they, they, uh, they make something happen. We, we can get, get those guys. When you first look at your opponent, what sticks out the most? You think will be a big challenge for you? Uh, I don't know, know too much about him. Uh, like I said, if I let my team do that, I told you I really been watching a lot of Mike Tyson. So might, y'all might see me come out like Mike the first couple rounds, or I might box. You know, you never know. How around feeling, you know? Hey, Boots, man, there's a really big fight that's supposed to be happening between um, Stan Jonas and Virgil Ortiz. You missed My that? My bad, Bray. Pretty sure you missed that. <laughs> um, you know, Stan Jonas supposed to be fighting um, Virgil Ortiz Jr. Yeah. Who do you think wins that one, man? Uh, that's a good fight. You know, uh, I don't know it's a 50-50 fight for me. You know, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, hopefully whoever wins, you know, I get the winner. You know, if not, if not that. Earl Spence, not Earl Spence, somebody, anybody, you know, but, I don't care but, who it is. But in that fight, there's got to be somebody that you're leaning to, like, a I don't care who it is. No? I really don't care. I just want to fight. And, well, and I, mean, just in, I mean, just in terms of who's going to win the fight. It don't matter to me. They both, they both come forward. It's perfect style for me.